Well, we are continuing to follow what's happening in the third precinct right now. It has really devolved into mayhem and chaos in that part of the city. Joining us on the phone right now to talk about what's happening in the city's response is Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry. Thank you for joining us, Mayor. Uh, what do you make of what's happening right now? Well, I, I am calling on everyone to keep the peace. I'm imploring our city, imploring our community, imploring every one of us to, to keep the peace. Let's honor George Floyd's memory. Uh, we, this is the opportunity to, to, to do so right now. Um, I, I, I understand if you're angry. I understand if you're hurting. I understand if you're sad. And by all means, uh, express yourselves. Uh, I, I will make sure to defend First Amendment rights, uh, but when the First Amendment rights begin to infringe on public safety, uh, we, we do need to make sure that, that it stops. And you know, my core duty as mayor is to, is to keep the peace, and that duty doesn't end when times are difficult. In fact, it's even more important right now. And so I'm imploring, I'm imploring everyone uh, to, to keep the peace. But Mayor, a, a lot of people, an increasing number of people are apparently not getting that message. What lengths are you willing to go to to keep the peace in that part of town? Because the fact is, the people you're speaking to right now, you know, they're out and things are not going well right now in the third precinct. So w what do you do? What's the plan to get this under control? Well, we've been in close contact with many community partners, including those who are at the protest now, uh, to help deliver the message. I've been in constant contact, of course, with our police chief, uh, with the governor of Minnesota as well. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we definitely need uh, assistance right now. Um, uh, but we are doing everything that we possibly can. And, and uh, like I said, I am, I am calling on all of us. Uh, when you our say whole community are... Oh, I apologize, Mayor. Uh, when you say you need assistance, are you referring to uh, more officers from different departments, perhaps the National Guard, uh, community groups, all of the above? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not ready to make an announcement on, on that. Um, uh, I, I have, we've certainly uh, asked for help. Well, and I know that in these situations, it can often go from bad to worse as national, uh, as the word travels nationally and more and more people can show up in the city. Uh, are you getting any indication that this might grow right now? Tonight, the crowd does appear to be growing. What about tomorrow night and the night after that? Any conversations right. on that front? Uh, obviously, we have some intelligence on, on what is to come, but you know, no, this is minute by minute. I'm, I'm not going to predict uh, what comes in the next 10 minutes, let alone tomorrow. What um, would you say? I know right, you're, and, oh, I'm sorry, so go ahead. I, 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 I do apologize, though. I have to keep working. I did want to get on to, to deliver that message. Um, and you know, I, we I love appreciate it. I, I'm, I'm just wondering, I know Mayor. That you, I know that everybody, everybody that's listening right now does as well. Absolutely. Uh, We've got heavy hearts, why, all of us, tonight. I'm wondering right. if you have a message for the Minneapolis police officers tonight. You know, what, what you see is that those who are protesting peacefully uh, get lumped in with those who are not. Uh, police officers that are doing their job with compassion uh, get lumped in with those uh, that are not. Uh, and, you know, this is a crisis on top of a crisis, and, you know, a pandemic followed by, of course, this really uh, tragic uh, killing. And um, throughout, you know, the last six weeks, you know, yeah, our, our, our police officers have been working their, their tails off. Um, and so, you know, it, it's, we need to be able to hold these truths in our heart at the same time, which is that uh, the, the individual, the officer that, that horrifically uh, killed George Floyd, um, we need justice there. Uh, he needs to be held accountable. And I've said that again and again and again. Um, now, I, I also want to say that I do appreciate the work that our officers do uh, to, to protect and, and serve in our city. Um, I, I appreciate the protesters that, that will protest in a peaceful fashion. Um, all of us, every one of us, from, from police uh, to those protesting, uh, what I'm calling for right now is peace. 
So I, I do apologize. I need to get back to work here. I appreciate you having me on. Mayor, we appreciate your time and uh, we wish you the very luck, very best of luck um, and hope you'll check in often. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Tonight's show is in progress and we are going to return you to that. We want you to know we will continue watching that scene in the third precinct and continue to bring you updates online and on air when warranted all night long. And of course, we'll have more tomorrow morning on sunrise at 4.30 a.m. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. Thank you.